<laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beautiful video. We're happy to see you guys here. We got a banger for you guys today. We know you guys love this tank. We love it too. It's our best tank. I think we're crushing it right now with this thing. We're gonna make this thing gorgeous. As you guys can see, that enemy right there. This is what they do. He was literally ginormous two seconds ago. Probably by the end of this video, when we're done, it'll probably be back up big. But he was two seconds ago huge, but when they shrink down like that, they're actually getting rid of all that waste that they have when they're eating and all that stuff. Kind of like taking a dump, all right? <laughs> so he's taking a dump right now. So we're gonna get, leave him alone, but we got some awesome things for this tank today. You guys are gonna love them. Before we hop into it, let me give you guys a quick comment. Shout out to Titus Das, or is it Titus Das? I don't know, one of those, Titus or Titus, what's up my man? He says, I'm new to this channel and I'm having a great time watching your videos. Keep up the good work, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. You guys inspire us to keep making these videos. We wouldn't do it without you guys. These comments and these comment shout outs, we absolutely love them. Give you guys a little bit of recognition because you are the reason we do this. And you're the reason why we can have all these beautiful fish. We like to go along the journey with you guys, so. Thank you so much for watching again. If you guys want to win a comment shout out, just drop a comment and in the next video, you can be picked. Now, this tank has been doing great, but as you guys know, we just set up a brand new predatory tank over here where we moved our eel from this 125 that we still need to set up. It's gonna, that video is coming soon, to this right here, Mr. Eel in there, the bone bee grouper and the puffer fish. So we got that tank set up. So. We were thinking maybe we get a different, another, a new fish. We haven't gotten a new fish for that tank in a long time. And we just got rid of the trigger and the snapper. So we got a little bit of room. So we saw a gorgeous fish the other day that you guys actually commented in the video and had a timestamp and you guys were like, get this fish. I'm gonna put it right here. He's gorgeous. It is a Spanish hogfish that is purple and yellow. He's beautiful and he swims around the tank all day. I think it's gonna be perfect addition. So if this video gets 2,500 likes, I'm only, see, this is what we're doing. We only do things if you guys want it. So anyways, let's hop into the video and I'm gonna show you guys what we got for this tank right here. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys what we got. We got two gorgeous sea urchins, okay? They're kick ass. We're getting things to brighten up the tank a little bit. So here we go, we got Two right here, we got an all white one right there. And a, I think it's called a pinstripe uh, sea urchin, right? Pinhead. By city of my coda, no. my mouth. No. So, these things are gonna be terrific additions to this tank. They're gonna clean a lot of the algae that we got going on on here. We're gonna try to get some fish that will help with the algae as well. So leave comments down below what you guys think would be the best to help with the algae with this tank. but. These, this is a start right here, these two guys, and they're very, very pretty. Now, you guys are gonna love when we put them in the tank. It's gonna look way better. Let's check it out. So we're gonna acclimate them here, just like that. Look how good they look. They look so good, and they'll move around the whole tank, just picking off all the algae, eating it from the bottom. And yes, guys, you guys are probably thinking that they're, they're gonna go in the anemones and they're gonna poke the anemones. They're totally fine together. Anemones and sea urchins are fine because uh, the anemones have things to protect themselves as well, so. And they're not even that pointy. These things are not even that pointy. The ones that are like super long, those are really pointy. But uh, these are fine. Look at them moving, the white one. Yeah, he's just chilling, look at him. They move with a little tentacles. Actually, fun fact, in biology class, last year I had to mate <laughs> sea urchins together. I had to How grab one. I have to do that. I had to grab one and I am doing that. make this come out and put it on the female. Oh, I'm doing wow. that. It was a terrific experience. <laughs> I am made it. I am a father of beta fish and sea urchins, and I'm soon to be father of clownfish. So, let's go. Hashtag so greedy baby sea urchins from you. Not from these guys. The last scoop. The last scoop right here, guys. That's it right there. So we've been acclimating these guys for about 20 minutes, and uh, they're ready to go. We've been pouring water in, and yeah, they're perfect. So we're gonna get these guys out. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like out of water. All right, guys, there they are. They look good and they look cool. They're all moving and they are hard. Wow, this is so weird. Look at that right there. That is unbelievable. Look, all the little, what a all the little spikes are moving. That is so weird. It kind of looks like a, like a watermelon. <laughs> oh, no. Look, that, like, that's green in there. I don't want to touch this guy's got a little pink. He's got some red and some green. And that guy's like all white oh, and pink. White. 
That looks cool. That looks really cool. I think. I think, it's good. I think he peed on me or something. Yeah, no, I feel some. <laughs> I feel some. I just. Oh, he's pissing. It. Yeah, he's pissing. All right, I'm gonna put this guy in the tank. I'm gonna put him right. Look at piss up there. Whoops! Come on, buddy. I'm gonna put you right here. You doing all right? Now go to work, son. Dude, this thing is sick. It's cruising. Damn! Look how cool that thing looks. Now, guys, when we turn the light off and probably put it blue, the tank's probably this thing's probably gonna brighten up and look really red. So, hey, Jack's gotta play. His yeah, this thing's now. pissing. Look at it. Look at it. Look really close. Look at how look how much he moves. He's crawling. He's really. He's actually really moving along your hand there. Yeah, he's covering some ground there. That is super All cool. All right, let's put him in. That, let's put him in the tank. I'm gonna put this guy on the side. I think you put him right on that shelf there. Man. Yes, sir. Here you go, bud. Ooh, I like the all white. Yeah, the all white looks sick. Look at those things. Look at that. Whoa, what are those? What is coming out of them? I don't know. That, that, my guy's got them too. Look at that. That's not even a stem. That's a freaking. Uh... That looks like an alien tentacle to me. Yeah. This thing might be from outer space. It looks cool though. And uh, let's turn this light on blue to see all the colors and see how it looks. I wish Mr. Green Anatomy was out right now, but he's taking a sh <laughs> over there. He's fit. Yeah, he's actually coming out. Respect to him, but uh, yeah, he is. he's coming Sorry. out a little bit more. So Do you want it on blue? Let's turn this thing all blue and make sure this tank looks nice and bright. Ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Alright. Wow, dude, the white one really pops. Pops completely out. It's because it's the whitest thing in the tank, literally. If you were to back up, zoom out for it, literally is just watch your bring it. It's literally just a Big white ball sitting there, but wow, the guys, this tank is seriously coming along. Let us know what else we should add. Do you want starfish? Do you want some hermit crabs, shrimp? Whatever you guys want, we can put in this tank as long as it's gonna be compatible with everything in there. And then also guys, we have a clean slate right there, but Chris, look how good they look. All white, looks a lot better. It looks sick. Yeah, so. You better get to work now though. Start I know, there's a lot of algae on those rocks from that blue lat. All right, guys, so now we're going to roll a quick montage of this beautiful tank. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out All right, you guys, so it's been a few days now and the sea urchins have been in the tank and they've actually done a lot of work. Take a look. So look at the top of that rock. They ate all that brown algae. See the white spots and all the brown little specks right here? The brown is the algae that they missed, but all the white is what they got. So these things are actually really going to work. We got a purple guy right here, looking better than, better than ever, you know? And then the white one, he, he's a little lost. He, he's on the back of the glass and he's cleaning the glass, which is good, but you know, we, we kind of care a little bit more about the rocks because the rocks are really brown. So we really need to get, maybe we'll go get a few more. So. We'll probably go get a couple more, but guys, check out the green anemone right here. Look how good it looks. The clowns are starting to go in and out of it. He's really the main one that kind of stays near it, but this really isn't as big as it typically is. It's usually a lot bigger, but I'm going to turn it. I think we show him with the blue light. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn it all with the blue, okay? So guys, yeah, check him out. He's not even as big as he was earlier today, but you can see that one anemone. He's hanging under there in the bottom left. Can you see him? Clownfish? Yeah, that's what I meant. Clownfish. He's under there. You see him? It's a little dark, but he's under there. He, right? Yeah, he's there. Right there, guys. Chris, that little really, white spot, that's him. Really zoom in on those nips. You yeah, oh, there's the cloud. Yeah, see him right there, guys? Yeah, there he is. But can you see the pink nips? <laughs> <laughs> that's really weird, guys. The, the, the tips of this are, are red. The nips. And you can't see it in the camera. That's annoying. That is so weird, but... It definitely opened up a lot. See it wrapping around the back there? Yeah, you can see a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the red there, guys. You see him? Right there, that's all the red. That bit. looks good. But um, yeah, that clown has taken up in it. And there's one other clown that likes to go in there. So there's two clowns that go in there. The rest like to go in the big one over here. 
and yeah, it's going well so far. We're adding slowly to this tank, so you gotta let us know what else you guys wanna see uh, in this big, uh, awesome tank. All right, so yeah, guys, that is gonna be it. Don't forget to like this video if you guys want us to go get that sick Spanish hogfish. We're gonna put another pig right here. The thing is sick looking. So if you guys want us to go get it, remember to smash that like button. And while you're down there, just hit that freaking subscribe button. Help us out, and uh, yeah, thank you all for sticking along. We'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.